Jubilee, you guys do not disappoint. I must say, just when you just when I thought you guys couldn't go any lower, you guys got the first and only dating show I've seen where the dad meets the the gets to pick their son in law. I'm Sage. Uh, I'm a senior at a small university in San Diego studying international relations. And my dad is with me here today. <laughs> Clyde Tabor. I lead a faith based nonprofit. So, dad, what are you going to be looking for today? Word. Personality, desires, interests, substance, etc. Height. Maybe. Okay. I'm 5'10. So. Probably. I. That's what she wants. She wants a tall dude. I'm an includer. So the idea of excluding people based on appearance is not natural. <laughs> Trust me, your dad's not going to be checking out these guys, bro. <laughs> I want to see who, who he going to pick. Oh, boy. Really? What? That's, that's a left. <laughs> Whoa! He played him. He just played him. Wow. I want to see what he's going to do with the black guy. What is he going to do with the black guy? Really? Can I give you a hug? <laughs> you want to be racist. <laughs> all right, you're in. Really? All the black guys? You are in. What? Yeah. Bro, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We not just going to brush past those pants over there, bro. Let, bro, we have to bring it back, bro. There's no way. There's just no way. You are in. My... Bro, look at those pants. Bro, they so tight. Oh my god, bro. I gotta look up some pants jokes, bro. I gotta look some Let's go to pants jokes. Too tight. Pants jokes too tight. Uh supposed to put two. A little mess spelling there. 15 pan strokes that would make you laugh. Okay. All right, let's let's start with one. Okay. What do tight pants and cheap hotel have in common? No ballroom. <laughs> Damn, those pants are tight. Yes, you're in. Yep, you're in. Okay. That's a lot of guys. That's a lot of guys. All right. Yes. Really. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Oh, awkward. I like everybody needs to be named and known and seen and loved and it's like gosh, Wow. Dad is gonna be judging you based on your handshake. Based on your handshake. Oh, that was brilliant. <laughs> really? Close there, it's very nice to meet you. What's my, your name? My name's Carter. What's your name? Carter, I'm Clyde. You look a lot like Steve Martin. Wow. Okay, dude. Oh, a little long. Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay. Wow. wow. He got off. He got off the Justin. Steve Martin way. Justin. Hi, I'm Ryan. Nice to meet you. Ryan, come on over. Hi, I'm Al. Al. How's it going, sir? My name's Will. Hey, okay. Will, Clyde. How's it going, Clyde? Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm what? Kate. Okay. Nice to meet you. The dad's too nice, bro. <laughs> Thailand, like the country. I love that. Thank you. Oh, okay. Dude, can I hug you? Yeah. <laughs> yep, gone. Done. Get done. Get done. 
Rufus. A scroof? Bro, his pants are so tight. Please. Uh oh. My name is Melvin. You have a beautiful smile, sir. Oh, Melvin! Oh, he's trying to, he's trying to pull some points. He's trying to pull some points on that. I'm Arthur. Arthur. Damn, the tub. Thank you. You can go. Oh, she wanted him. I knew it. She wanted him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my name's Jether. Huh? Jether? Yes. Uh, my name's Ricky. Ricky? Yeah. <laughs> Go to the right. Bro, this is so cringe. <laughs> she gave me some cues like, there's a couple guys in there. And I was trying to think, okay, who are those couple of guys? My dad knows my type. And I was like, oh, my dad will know. Oh, no. My dad and knows my type. Nigga, you don't know your type, though. <laughs> nice to meet you again. Your name again? Cade. I'm Ryan. 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 All right, Zach. Zach. Um, Zach with the tight pants. York. I'm a music business student at Syracuse. Uh, I'm in Rufus. I am a videographer in the film, and I do martial arts. So I'm currently going to CSUOB, majoring in chemistry. I'm working toward becoming an EMT, but the long-term goal would be a firefighter. So that's what I would see myself in five years. Uh, I studied finance and data analytics at University of Maryland. I currently work as a public sector consultant. Okay, bro, you just said University of Maryland. Just go right. You turf? Are you turf? I'm a turf, bro. You turf? Oh my god. <laughs> No, I don't know why. That was very wow. unplanned. I don't know. That was visceral. So my name is William. I go to the University of Maryland as well. Ah, <laughs> nice one. Uh, I do. Uh, I'm a colonel. You do not. I do. Third. College Which Park. campus? College Park. Where do you live? Dale Hall. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Oh, Where did you live? I don't know. That was about Maryland. me. You kind of called me out, so. I like to say that I'm kind of good at golf. So if you want to play golf sometime, I've been right. looking for a partner, so. I suck at ball. golf, but so I ball. can teach you. So <laughs> ball. Uh, tell me about your family. Um, my mom's from India. Uh, we used to go every year. I mean, uh, Rufus. Look after her for a lot of inspiration. Rufus in the and building. A doctor. I appreciate my relationship a lot with him now that I'm here. Tell me something about your past dating life. Um, I think I've tried not to like throw myself into relationships when like I don't think I've been ready for them. But I think I'm at a point in my life right now where I am ready. Okay, so why are you on this episode? I'm on this episode because I'm looking for love and I'm trying to meet a nice dad. Which I think I, I think I did. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm here because, like I said, I just started my businesses, so I feel like I'm just trying to get my face out there as much as possible. Fair enough. And, you know, I may got a nose ring. Talk He's disqualified. All right, dude, can I give you a hug? Of course, man. He's tall Good man. Job. Good. Can I give you a hug? Yes, <laughs> Watch. Can I give you, what's up with him in the hugs? Thank you. Is the dad sus? I don't know, right. bro. What's up with him in these hugs? Swipe him right. right. Okay, Alright. Well, all the dudes yeah. got the same color shoes on. Thank you so much. Alright. Right. I believe it. Yeah. I want to see if she's going to pick. You only eliminate one? Oh. I have an idea. I have two questions for each guy, the whole group. Right. Tell me something about your spiritual slash faith life. And what's your opinion about the border crisis between Russia and Ukraine? Are you serious, bro? Two questions. Are we ready? Boom. I go to the gym a lot, and after the gym, I like just meditating, doing yoga. Spirituality isn't the biggest part of my life. I think it takes a bit more of a, a broader spiritual sense, but I think Christianity is the lens through which I make sense of who God is. So I was raised as a Buddhist. Um, but I want to see what the second question going to say, bro. Christian, so I'd, I'd say I'm pretty open-minded. I grew up Hindu, but um, I also... I mean, it looks so country, weird, so bro. I've learned a lot about Islam. I've learned a lot about different religions. I think it's important to have that perspective. For me, um, my whole family is Christian. Everybody's Christian. Um, I'm also a Christian as well. And question two, I'm not a big fan of Russia's moves in Ukraine. Um, I think, I mean, it's mostly about Crimea, right? And 
just think they should kind of leave them alone. Russia's already big enough. For Russia, I know they're trying to pull a false flag on Ukraine and try to say like people are attacking Russia so they could, you know, attack and Vain is just gonna cause like a huge, you know, problem in Europe. As far as I remember, um, Russia is invading Ukraine. I'm pretty ignorant on the topic, but I would be happy to have you educate me. Personally, I don't know that much about it. I could learn and should learn more. I don't know much about it. I don't know enough to comment and so I don't want to. I do not know much about the conflict to make an informed opinion, so I will not answer that question. I also would not like to talk out of my ass. Sorry. Really? You can go right. You can go right. You can go right. To the right. All right, bro, you can go right. All right, you can go right. All right, to the right. Okay. That was the most weirdest question to, to ask them. The check? final oh, reveal. Like, did you like my inner OCD kind of kicked in? I just had so many questions. Okay. Hard. You know, when I think about life, dating, I think my biggest thing about dating is the kind of guy you date is probably the kind of guy you could marry. I'm not saying this is a marriage okay. thing. Okay. But the direction you start in is probably the direction you keep going. So you want to date the kind of people that have that potential. Uh, I think you will like this person. I think you're going to find him handsome. Okay. And I think you may what is have it, a connection on the faith spiritual level. Okay. Faith, and okay. And there's a surprise. A bonus I to a black guy. I <laughs> wait to tell you the third thing. About Most likely thing? not. Okay. Let me see. Okay, what's the surprise? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I'm assuming it's because I go to the University of Maryland. Ah, uh, Maryland boy. Yeah. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> but are you from Maryland? No, my dad grew up in Maryland. <laughs> I've, I've road tripped Maryland. Which part? Couldn't tell you. I was 12. I ate a lot of crabs. I can show you. He must, yeah, he must want some biracial kids. Okay, yeah. sounds good. Awesome. <laughs> he must want some biracial yeah, kids. So I can nice be Definitely a surprise because he's shorter than me. But then the Maryland thing made a little more sense, and he does have really beautiful eyes. So we'll see. Do you think your dad kind of chose someone that he would like to hang out with? Probably. It sounded like he was really getting along with everyone. I just was hanging out with some of the guys, and I'd love to get to know them more because they're all interesting, amazing, creative. Wow. Encountering people and learning their stories is just part of the richness of life. I love my dad. He makes everyone feel very loved. Yeah, sure. He has my number, so it's up to him. But he seems like a really nice guy, so we'll see. I'm like super open to meeting and hanging out with anyone. Yeah. This is super cringe. I ain't gonna hold you. What the hell? What am I watching? Bruv. Bruv, what are you doing? This is cringe. It's only like a minute and a half All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the conclusion that you cannot have your parents pick who you want to be with because it goes south. This is not good. It's not a good look. But uh, shout out to Jubilee, man, for another great video, man. Which I know what time it is, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel and make sure y'all hit that like button, bro. More content coming soon. See you guys later. Peace.